Carden Shaft Alignment Out the first fixture arm on the flange. You can use up to three arms if needed. Sometimes it only requires one fixture arm. In this case, we need to use two arms due to the distance of the offset. Be sure that there is no dirt, sharp edges or rust on the surface and plane of the flange. You can use a stone to dress the flange. Place the spacers between the arm and the flange. Mount the second fixture arm Rough align the arm so that it can meet the center of the shaft on the movable side Mount the laser turret on the fixture arm and tighten it Turn on the laser. Adjust the arm so that the laser hits inside the center of the shaft. Secure the fixture by tightening it. Choose the appropriate threaded nut from the case. Mount the other laser turret. Here are two alternative mounting solutions on the movable side. Turn on the laser. Rotate the shaft not the turret, on the movable side. Adjust the laser using the micrometer screws so it will rotate within the inner circle. Mount the TD units. S equals stationary and M equals movable. Select the card and application from the main screen. Type the required measurements. Choose the tolerance. The maximum RPM on the motor 
decides the tolerance. Adjust the height of the TD units. A green light means that the laser hits the detector. Begin the measuring. Rotate the TD units 90 degrees. Make sure to rotate the shaft, not the turret. Make sure that you are within 0.2 degrees from each TD unit. Rotate the TD units 180 degrees. Again, make sure to keep them within 0.2 degrees of each other. When measured, the application will only show us the angular misalignment, as the cardan shaft always has a clear offset. Follow the highlighted icon and go to shimming. Loosen all the nuts on the motor. Place the required amount of shims beneath the feet of the motor. Go to Horizontal Adjustments. The live values will automatically adjust. Rotate 90 degrees. Adjust the horizontal plane on the front feet. Tighten the nuts. It's important to cross tighten the nuts in sequence. Re measure. Don't forget to save the results.